Hey kids, welcome to Lesson 9, Libraries Make Part 2. At this point, you should have heard a couple of things from me. If you haven't, kids, just as a reminder, number one, anything that I show you in this video, I will not accept for you to turn in. This is just to show you how to do it and give you a general idea what to do. I'm not for you to copy, my friends. Number two, you really should start thinking about your AP Create task. And anything you create here really should be in support of that AP Create task. So start thinking about what you're going to do next and really incorporate it into this one. And finally, kids, don't overthink this. This is really just creating a function that we can store that we can use over and over. And really, that's it. And kids, you will see our project outline here really goes over what you need to do in this one. And pay special attention to this part right here. Your library must have one of these, a loop, an if statement, one or more parameters, or a return. And kids, I'm going to show you one that has a couple of these in there. Really, at this point, you should have brainstormed some ideas and you have a bunch of ideas down here. And really, kids, what I'm going to do is these first two here. Find a minimum value in a list and find a maximum value in a list. But I'm not going to do a list. I'm just going to do two parameters. So if you want to do a list, you can still do it because there's a couple of steps I'm going to leave out. Before you start to this next part here, kids, you should really sit down and think of what you want to do. For ours, we're going to create a minimum and maximum list. And what does that involve? Well, I think I'm going to have an if else loop. And it's really going to compare two numbers that I'm going to put in, a min or a max number. And then it's going to return whether or not that is a minimum or maximum value. Again, kids, I'm not going to do it for a list. If you want to do a list, you can. I'm just going to do the simplest way to do it. Please fill out your functions here for my max val. I would have something like this. For my minimum value, I would have something like this. At this point, and what you came to this video for, should be step number three, build. And that's what we're going to do today, kids. So let's jump over into code.org and build our little function. Remember, kids, the key to this is really commenting stuff out. You want to be able to let whatever user is going to use this to understand what you're doing. And I'm going to go over to my text block here, and I'm going to just do some comments. My first one is going to be the purpose of what I'm going to write is going to be find max value between two numbers. And what I'm going to return is max value. Now I want to start building this kids. And again, I'm going with just a simple function here. I'm going to drag in a new function. I'm going to call this max val. And it's going to have two parameters. Num1 and num2. Again, if you want to do a list, you can, kids. We're just not going to show you in this video so you can use it. What do I have to do from here? Well, I have to create a new variable and I'm going to create a new variable max. And inside max, what I'm going to do is an if else statement here. And if num1 is a greater than num2, and I'm just going to do num1 num2 well kids max is going to equal num1 otherwise max 
This is going to equal num2. Oop, kids, we declared max already once. We shouldn't do that again. Let's get rid of that declaration there. Go back to our blocks. Remember, kids, you only have to declare a variable once. After that, all I want to do here is return whatever that max number is. Well, that's my first part, kids. Now, these are going to be my testing functions. I'm eventually going to comment these out, but I want to make sure my codes are running, kids. And what do I want to return here? Well, I want to get the function. And let's find out with the max value between 22 and 44 is. Don't forget to rename the function we're calling max value. When I hit run, kids, I should get 44 pop up down here. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, well, there we go. Well, kids, oh, that's only one. I want to do the min value too. I'm going to go over to my text mode here. Let's take this a little further down. Let's comment this out to find min value between two numbers. We're going to return min value just like that. Kids, I'm just going to rinse and repeat here. I'm going to drag a, another function down here. I'm going to call this min val. You guessed it, kids, num1, num2 right here. I'm going to create another variable. And this one is going to be called min. And this is just going to look for the minimum number. Same things, if else statement. Now it's not greater than, it's going to be less than. If num1 is less than num2. And remember, don't have to redeclare your variable. Min equal num1. Otherwise, kids, min equal num2. And then at this point, don't forget we have to return something still. And we're going to return min. I still want to test this out here. So I'm going to go down here and get a console.log statement. Drag that in there, get a function. Drag that in there. I'm going to call this min val. And let's do 33 and 3. Compare between those two. Now when I hit run, I should still get 44. But now I should get 3. Let's reset run. 44 and 3. I know my code's working, kids. Let's go over to my text here. Let's comment this out. Bring this up here a little. And this is going to be testing conditions. That's for our user in the future. All right, kids, at this point, we're pretty much done with what you have to do. I know what you're thinking, Mr. Rhodes. Well, that's not too hard. And kids, I told you it wasn't. At this point, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to share. And then you're going to go down to this show advanced options. Up here, you have a couple different things you can do. Go to share as library. I'm going to click share as library. And this one is going to be called min max. And we're just going to do video so we know what we use this for. Description finds min and max between two numbers. You want to import all the functions you had. And mine already come up. Max val and min val. At that point, 
You want to hit update or save, depending on what you're doing there. And you're going to get an ID you can share with other kids if you need to. Make sure you copy and paste this, store this somewhere that you might need it. All right, kids. Now we got to test this out. Let's go ahead and start a new version. And let's give this a little test now. If you look down here in my functions, there's nothing. But if I go over here to my little gear and I go manage libraries, well, right here, you can see one came up. The author Rhodes min max video. That's what we just did. I'm just going to hit my plus sign, kids. Once that's loaded, if I come down here, well, there's my min max video, kids. And we can just take our console.log statement here, come down to our functions, and do a min and max. So this is the name that I put it, and then the function names. Let's do uh, two and 303,000 something, something, something. And for our low ones, let's do five, 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 and then seven, 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 seven. When I go ahead and hit run, I should get this three number and then this five number printed off down there. Well, let's see if I'm right, kids. There you go. And that's how we use our library, kids. It's that simple. Don't overthink it, all right? We're just making something simple to store into our library. And again, best piece of advice I can give you, start thinking about what you want to do for the AP Create task because that's really our next assignment. And think what you're going to use multiple times so you can incorporate that into this library project. And that's really it, kids. If you do something like this, that's all that is required for the Make Library. We are going to do some testing with some other kids' libraries, but that's not going to be in the scope of this video, kids. Hopefully, you found this helpful. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video, kids. See you later. Bye, bye, bye.